Kitty is writing in. She's buying a home sometime this year. And th this is going to be interesting, folks. A friend of her gave her some questions to ask when she visits the home. Her real estate agent says these may not be the right questions to ask because they may violate some sort of discrimination law. Okay. So she's asking us, and specifically, Brent, you, if she can ask the following questions, all right? I'm going to give you the question, and then you tell me yes or no, and give me a quick answer why, because we got a couple of these. Sure. She wants to ask, why is this home for sale? Not a problem, right? No, I don't think there's any issue with, with that. Now, you know, the seller obviously uh, can divulge as little or much information as they want to in that regard, I suppose. but. Um, you know, I don't no legal issue, I think, with asking that. All right. Now we get a little bit gray area here. How are the neighbors? She says she wants to ask, how are the neighbors? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Um, I think that generally speaking, it's OK to get the seller's take on, you know, their their neighbors, their street. You know, is everybody friendly um, or are there a bunch of kids, you know, in the neighborhood? Um, I, I think, you, uh -huh. you know, be careful, though, with, um, you know, obviously anything that gets into the demographic makeup of the neighbors uh, is is possibly going to get, get you into some trouble. So, Well, and you're reading my mind or you've already seen her question because she <laughs> says the next question is, can she ask the neighbors or the owner if the owner is there? What's the makeup of the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. That's no. the problem. I, 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 um, I mean, well, let's be clear, I guess, right? The, the, she can ask, uh, but should her agent answer uh, or should, you know, should, should, in, should her agent or the listing agent, you know, provide an answer to that? And, and that would be no, right? Um, that, yeah. that would be a, a, no, a no, no go. Now, she, if she wanted to go on her own, if Kitty wants to go out to the neighborhood on her own, walk the neighborhood and talk to the neighbors and ask questions, Absolutely. But as a real estate agent, we are trained. It is drilled into our head to avoid any questions that might create this type of a problem. So uh, be aware of that, folks. So let's continue. Um, she asks, were any additions or major repairs made to the home? That's that's not a problem. Right. And should be on the disclosure. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Those, yeah. For, you know, of course, ask away about all that. And then the next one she had, we're down to the last two. Has anyone died in the home? So that's an interesting question, and it's very sensitive to a lot of people. It, it is, and um, you know, and, and I'm I, I'm not an expert on this question as far as throughout the United States. Um, every jurisdiction is different in this regard, um, but it here in Kentucky, um, a seller uh, does not have to disclose, you know, does not have to voluntarily disclose that someone has passed away in, in the in the property. Um, some states you do, it's, it's required. You have to disclose that. Um, in Kentucky, there's no, uh, automatic disclosure of mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, uh, I, I believe if a buyer asks, um, it's incumbent on the seller to provide a, a an honest forthright answer. Uh, because the neighbor may be the one who does it and you don't want to be in a trap where you say, no, there wasn't a death. And then the neighbor says, yeah, the I saw the ambulance and the Hertz and all the, you know, the morgue yeah. and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. All right. Final question. Has anyone ever felt a spirit in the home? That may be funny to some people, but there are a lot of people who, oh, yeah. uh, who do believe in this, that it needs to be asked. Sure. Yeah, sure. Well, again, I, I think that's, um, I don't think that falls in the under, uh, you know, any kind of fair housing yeah. uh, umbrella. Uh, so I, I think that, the buyer can ask and um you know the seller can provide the best answer that they that they can in that situation um you know i i don't think there's uh, anything that prevents the buyer from asking but again i you know it, 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 the seller that's kind of going to be a very particular uh, answer i guess depending on whether the seller believes <laughs> that there are spirits uh, in the house or or not um and obviously you're getting into some metaphysical concerns there as opposed to uh physical issues with the property so yeah uh, i wonder how many i wonder how many people ask that and then how many people that are selling the house would say yes I mean, that's a pretty great well 
But listen, when I'm I did, with you. When I did TV, we, uh, <laughs> when I did Louisville Tonight Live, I actually won an Emmy for a series I did on Go. You won an Emmy? Yeah, I won two. So there you go. <laughs> two, buddy boy, two. Um, but it was about a series. This one was on ghosts and where there are people who believe that these areas are haunted. So uh, we're not here to to uh, yes or no, right or wrong. I'm right, just, right, right. Both right. the question. Right. So, it, I mean, it is fascinating. And uh, and there are other questions. I know there are many people who also want to know what direction the front door faces, because there's a there are there's a belief in it needs to face this direction. And uh -huh. and so. And listen, I've sold a lot of homes for both buyers and sellers. I, I know these questions come up on a regular right. basis. Yeah. 